All right, we're back with the FlightScope Mevo Plus, and this time we have the FlightScope Skills app that has recently been updated with the capability to use the FlightScope Mevo Plus. Uh, I figured I would give a quick rundown of just kind of how to use it and what it looks like for everybody, whether you have your unit not or you're considering the Mevo Plus. Hopefully this kind of helps you uh, know what's available. I'll kind of show you what I'm using here. Uh, this is an iPad uh, Air, the most recent model uh, with an HDMI dongle right there. Uh, it does display in a four by three um, format, which, you know, honestly isn't, isn't really bad. I don't play with stretching my projector out or anything. It's a pretty good image, um, you know, and you'll be able to see that in a second. Uh, first, obviously, uh, you're gonna wanna turn on your Mevo and connect it through Wi-Fi. Um, under settings, you have two different things. You have your profile you can log in with, and then you have device settings. Uh, we're obviously gonna be using short indoor because that's uh, my current setup is seven feet behind the ball and 10 feet to the screen. Um, you can go through here and you can set that distance uh, sensor to T, uh, which they actually have in inches, which is uh, interesting. Um, they have surface, uh, T surface height, sleep timeout. Um, I don't think slow swing, swing mode is actually for the Mevo Plus. That's for uh, the XI based on what I was reading out there. Um, voice assistance on, uh, focus band if you're using that, just some basic things. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and we can go back and use the skills assessment button. You have several different things to choose from. Uh, they have little skills that you can play. If you go into like quick play, for instance, um, it'll set them up based on kind of what level, you know, you're looking at. You can combine your own, um, you know, different difficulties, different length shots, different things you're supposed to do, you know, to place the ball. That's kind of cool. Um, it can combine different things. Um, the quick play, I think, is what I was using, which is pretty easy. Um, so really what you can do here, actually, you know what I did? I did a custom game. That makes it really simple. So you can just select one target. Um, let's just aim this play. And you can do sequential. That's fine. Um, my current elevation here is uh, 780. So I can set that, whether it makes much of a difference terrain you know what it's like outside if you want to use that a circular target or you can choose from like radial a fairway grid uh you know different things i kind of like the circular if we're gonna do a short shot like an approach shot to a green um we'll do 125 we'll just grab like a pitching wedge uh no lateral offset diameter 112 feet um five shots I think that's enough to kind of show a quick demo here. Uh, play now. Looks like you can save that if you want. You're just gonna select your profile because things can get saved. And then here you are. And I can show that up on the projector. Uh, so basically once you're in here, there are different views. So you have this current view, you have this view. I'm, I'm hitting those little boxes in the upper left. <clears throat> and then you have this view and you have this view. Um, these views aren't bad. They're kind of more like static. This one kind of shows your ball flight more, more or less left or right. And I can use a, diff a couple different ones. I'll show you uh, kind of my favorite one so far is this one um, because it kind of shows the ball flight end at landing on the green and the other ones don't. So we'll start with that and uh, I'll hit a couple balls and then we can kind of go from there. So you can see that it's already ready. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that the volume is up because I think that it's going to announce, uh, you know, the, the shots. So let me check that really quick. Give me one second. Should have checked that ahead of time. You can see the screen flying around on me. Um, should be up. Come on. Not easy to hold a phone and do this at the same time. I'm not seeing volume go up or down while I'm hitting it inside the app. I wonder if that's a that's an issue because um, I'm turning it up, so it definitely should be should be up. We'll uh, we'll see. So let's just go ahead and put it down. 
Sorry if it's a shaky video. I just figured I'd pop something up really quick so everybody could see it. I know we were waiting for it to get released there. So um, let's just grab a fishing wipe really quick. And we'll just hit a simple fishing wipe down there. that one. Why don't I do a different view now. I'll do the next one in, which is kind of like a side view. You can see the fly there. Still a little left. Do your next view, which is a behind you. And you can see, this isn't a bad view. I mean, it shows you your center line of target. And then you can see where the balls land over there. Um, and then I'll, I'll pull up the data here on, on, uh, on the next shot or two. The nice thing about this is it's very instantaneous. I mean, you can see, I mean, it's, it picks the data up and posts it immediately. So that one is a little closer to the target. And then we'll do this last view, which is right here. So you can definitely see this a little more animated than, uh, than the normal FS Golf app, which, which is designed for the iPhone. This is designed for the iPad. Oh, finally, finally got one in there. So and you can see it kind of gave me some points there. So um, let's pull up some data on that last shot because we know it was a pretty good shot. Let's uh, wonder if there is an easier way. You can scroll through the data here. I just don't know if there's an easy way to display it other than at the bottom. So let's just go in the bottom for now. And I'll kind of play around with it uh, later on. Yeah, you can go to the settings up there. <clears throat> you can kind of see it uh, looks like it's giving me a timer, you know, to accomplish uh, the skills. So, I mean, it just kind of makes it like a fun fun game if you're, uh, if you're out on the range and you're trying to do something. You got a little zoom uh, button up there. That just shows you a replay of each shot. So if you want to see a replay, it'll show you a replay. It looks like it does them all at once. So you hit that. It's going to show the most recent is dark, but you can see the other ones are also there. So like I said, much more animated than, uh, than the FS Golf app. And then down here, care, that's my last shot that was right at the pin. Uh, it looks like it went just a little past. Carry distance was 131, rolled 0.6 yards. Total distance 130, so it had a slight... Uh, backspin on it. Um, lateral 1.8 left. Ball speed 99.8. Club speed 83.3. Smash factor 1.20. It was in the air for 5.9 seconds. Spin was 83.23. Spin axis 5.0 right. Vertical launch 27.1. Horizontal launch 2 degrees. Angle of attack negative 5.7. Spin law 49.2. It was a slight fade and it was 99.5 feet uh, at the apex. So, I mean, I hope that's a good overview for everybody just to kind of see what the FS Golf app has to offer. I'm sorry, the FS Skills app has to offer uh, with the Mevo Plus in the most recent updates. So uh, I'll try to uh, investigate a little more inside the app and uh, learn more about it and uh, share anything that I find.